All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is O23 HW1 Systems of Equations Combinations. We'll go over the first couple problems together, and then you're going to be responsible for the rest of the problems on the homework Google form. Remember, if you have any questions, please come to Extra Help. I'll be happy to help you out. You may also ask me during class when we're doing our classwork. I'll be happy to help you out then, too. All right, number one. We have 7x minus 6y equals 10. And we have negative 5x plus 4y equals negative 6. Now, we can't use the elimination method because there's nothing to eliminate right away. We can't use the substitution method because there's not an x equals or a y equals or a variable equals. So we're going to have to do this by combinations. Now, with combinations, we're going to try to eliminate either the x's or the y's by multiplying an entire equation by any particular number. Now looking at this we have 7x minus 6y and negative 5x and 4y. What I could do is I could pick the two numbers that are in front and I could flip flop them and multiply by that number. Meaning this 7x minus 6y equals 10 will be multiplied by this number in front, negative 5. And then I can multiply this bottom row by 7. That will be the opposite number there. Now when we do this, when they're opposite signs here, that means we need the same signs over here when we're multiplying them. So I'm going to make that a positive 5. If these two were the same signs, then these would have to be opposite signs. That's something we'll, we'll highlight again in the notes in the next class. So when these two signs are different, these two signs need to be the same. When these two signs are the same, these two signs will be the same. I'm oh, sorry, when these two signs are the same, these two signs have to be different. Now once we do that, we then multiply or distribute to each one of these terms. So it would be 5 times 7, which will get you 35, and I'll type it so it's nice and neat. So we're going to have 35x minus 30y equals 50. That's our new top line. Our new bottom line is going to be Seven times negative five will get us negative thirty-five. Four times seven will get us twenty-eight. So that's gonna be a plus twenty-eight y. And negative six times seven gets you negative forty-two. Once that's distributed, and we used our combination skills to make something become canceled. We see that we have a 35x and a negative 35x. We could actually now cancel out the x's and just follow along and do our elimination method. So we're changing any two random systems by using combinations to make it into an elimination method problem. That's what we're doing with combinations. We're making our equations into elimination method equations or limited elimination methods system of equations. So we eliminate the x's. Negative 30y plus 28y will get us negative 2y. 50 minus 42 will get us 8. We divide by negative 2 and we get y equals negative 4. Once we solve for y, we're going to put that negative 4 in for y. So we put this negative 4 in for the y equation up top. So then we're going to have 7x minus 6 times negative 4 equals 10.
So I'm putting it into the original equation. Then we're going to use our inverse operations and solve it out. Solve for x. So negative 6 times negative 4 gets you positive 24. Then we're going to subtract 24 from both sides. So then we're going to get 7x equals negative 14. Divide by 7 on both sides and we're going to get x equals negative 2. So I'll slide this up so you see it all at once. So x equals negative 2. So our final answer is negative 2, negative 4. And this multiple choice there just asking for the x value but we're going to solve for the, the entire thing. So the answer is negative 2 comma negative 4 in parentheses because our answers are solutions or coordinates. All right, let's move on to number 2. We have negative 7x minus 8y equals 23, and we have 5x minus 7y equals 9. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a little multiplication here and distrib distribution. I'm going to multiply that top line by the first number and the bottom line. So I'm going to multiply that by 5. The bottom line is going to be multiplied by that top number, which is negative 7. Now, since we're given both a negative and a positive in here, that means the two numbers being multiplied are both positive. Negative 7 times 5 gets you the negative 35 once again, negative 35x minus 40y equals 5 times 23 gets you 115. Five times seven gets you positive thirty-five. Negative seven times positive seven is negative forty-nine y. And nine times seven, that's gonna be sixty-three. Now our exits are opposites of one another. So you cancel them out. Then you combine your like terms here, just doing the system of equations elimination stuff. So we combine our like terms. We have negative 89y equals 178. Divide both sides by negative 89. You're going to get y equals negative 2. Now that we solve for y, we're going to take that negative 2 and we're going to put it in for y. We'll put it right into that first equation. Negative 7x minus 8. Now instead of y, I'm typing in negative 2 because we're replacing the y with negative 2. Negative 8 times negative 2 gets you positive 16. Subtract 16 from both sides. So 23 minus 16 gets you 7. Divide both sides by negative 7. You're going to get x equals negative 1. So our answer is negative 1 comma negative 2 inside of parentheses. So negative 1 comma negative 2. That's the answer to number two. Let's do problem number three. Or better yet, let's do problem number four instead of problem three. It's a little bit different. How it's so it's different? It's because we're given two positive numbers in the front. So when we're doing our answers over here, one of these got to be negative. It doesn't matter which one you choose. So I'm going to do seven and negative eight. The reason why this is negative because both of these are positive. So one of these has to be a negative and one of them has to be a positive. Doesn't matter which one. I multiply things out. 8 times 7, that's going to get you 56. So 56x minus 21y equals 
Well, 26 times 7 is 140 plus 6 times 7, which is 42. So 140 plus 42 is 182. Then we're going to multiply negative 8 to all three terms over here. So negative 8 times 7, well, that's negative 56 because our goal is to get the x's to cancel out. Negative 10 times negative 8 gets you 80. And 8 times negative 8 is negative 64. Eighty minus twenty one gets you fifty nine, so that's gonna be fifty nine Y is equal to one eighty two minus sixty four is a hundred and twenty, a hundred eighteen. One eighteen divided by fifty nine is gonna be Y equals two. You could always put that in a calculator if you're not too sure. So then we're gonna put two in for that y value so we're going to have 8x minus 3 times instead of y I'm going to write now 2 because that's what we're replacing with and it's equal to 26 then we just do our inverse operations from there to solve for x negative 3 times 2 gets you negative 6 so we have 8x minus 6 equals 26 Add 6 to both sides, and we get 8x equals 32. Divide by 8 to both sides, and we get x equals 4. So my answer is 4, 2. That's the answer for number 2. So parentheses, 4, 2, close parentheses. That's the coordinate. That's the coordinate that satisfies both of these equations in the system. All right, so your job to do three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on and so forth. Make sure you hit a submit button at the end. If you have any questions, please come to extra help. I'd be happy to help you out. All right, have yourself a good night.